Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to this here channel. Big hello to all you new subs. And thank you for stopping in and subscribing. Joining us here on some good outboard fun. Um, I still had a few things I needed to do on the little 15 that we chopped down to a short shaft. And uh, I'll show you that um, real quick. And then it'll be ready to go outside onto the table over there and get a good bath, good scrubbing. And uh, get all that yuck out from under there. Maybe a little sanding, a little painting. But that'll be, you know, just down down the way a little bit. You understand. But uh, I did have to do a couple other things before I get to the cosmetics. Because I don't sell a motor that's full of nasty, stinky crude oil in the lower unit. And that's what this one had when I switched out that drive shaft as soon as I pulled it out of there. It smelt like a billion, trillion, rotten, dead dinosaurs. So I said, I can't be selling no outboard with crude and rude. So draining that outboard, and I'll show you, boy, it is nasty. But then I, uh, I thought maybe it's time I take a boat ride. Maybe do a little jiggy jiggy, a little jiggy jiggy fishing and uh, see if we can at least get a, a fish for supper. So uh, we might do that. That sounds fun. A uh, little bit, little bit dependent on the weather, but I think we can do it. So let me show you this real quick. So you can see that old nasty stuff draining down on that lower and there it is look at that black as crude oil and you would think oh that's terrible it's just terrible actually that's a wonderful thing to see because when you see that oil all dark black like that you know you know that that lower unit don't leak when it's all good and black like that, that means it's just old, dirty oil with no water getting in there. So we're going to get this thing all pumped up full of fresh gear oil, and then I'll put it outside on the table for some washing and scrubbing. So let me go get my gear oil. I'll get that done, and then I'll show you a couple other things. I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see as I pump, I got nice fresh oil comes out of there. And you want to pump enough out of there so you don't see, you know, the bubbles. Once the bubbles go away, you know, you uh, you pretty much got all the air out of it. So, and then you can see I got nice fresh brand new seals on there. Well, maybe you can't see, but I do. You put the new seals on. Then I'm going to show you a little trick. All right, like I said, I want that oil to come out of there and get them bubbles out. Then I'm going to show you my little, my little hack from Kodiak. We get that top screw in there good and snug. Now, when I go to take that bottom one out, I don't want a big mess. You understand us? See that big blob of Vaseline right there? So when I screw this out, I'm going to take my feener, my big fat feener, and I'm going to whoop that Vaseline right there into that hole. That's what I'm going to do. i show you. So you get the Vaseline, nice big blob on your feener. And then when that comes out, you put it there. Then you take out your hose, see? Put 
you know, wipe off the excess Vaseline. Petroleum jellyus, you understand it. And see, it'll slow that leak down to almost nothing. Then you put your screw. Don't you do a grip on, grip on me, man. Then you put your screw with your new seal in there. Then you wipe off the extra. And then you got a nice lower unit with no mess. That's how I do it. And then you make sure one more time that everything's good and tight. There it goes. Same with the top. Nice new seals. Nice new Earl. Okay. So now, yummy. So now we'll, whoo, that stuff stinks. We're going to get this guy here. Out there. And then I got another one just about like it. I don't think you can see it on camera. It's right there. Same thing, only different. Um, the guy said he couldn't get it started. So we're going to see if we can start it. But, I got something else got to do too. So, let me get set up and I'll show you what that is. I'll be right back. Now you say, we got this little guy out here. There he is. All good at lower unit oil. Now what do you do with this old oil? Well, I give most of it to my friend Tom. He has a waste oil burner. He heats his house and shop with it. But, I use a little of this old stinking dinosaur fluid. And I put it on my vice. Because I change a lot of these lowers. And this keeps my vice all slicked up. Not all of it, but I use it when I need it. Yeah. Keep my vice all slicked up. Because as my old saint friend uh, Dick used to say, he'd say about these vices and many other vices, he would say, They're handy when you need them. Yeah. This old motor Earl. I use it on my little mini loader bucket as well. I have been known to put it up under lawnmower decks. Old used gear oil. It's a little thicker than used motor oil. So it works good for certain things.
that's about where we're at from the bridge you can see over there high tide will be about an hour from now you can see blue skies pretty day let's get set up see if there's anybody home down there I think I got something on here it don't feel very big I'm not even sure if there's anything on there sometimes yeah there's something there a little ugly or something don't know is anything there it's not fighting whatever it is hardly at all little double ugly I think there it is uh, oh my gosh that's probably the smallest halibut I think I've ever caught we'll let that one go boy he took that <laughs> he took that hook though yeah we're gonna let you go little guy you can grow up and go get big ain't he pretty though that's pretty little halibut uh, let's get him back in oh sorry about that but let's get you back down to Davy well, if you quit flopping around so much, we get you back in. There you go. <laughs> now my hands are all wet. Slimy. Don't you know. Nibbling there, something nibbling. Whoa, there he is. Don't know what it is, don't know what it is. Ooh, I'm in some kelp. Oh, there he is. Big old double ugly. Big one. Big old double ugly. Now I don't want to stick my. There. I don't want to stick my hand in that thing's mouth. There we go. Oh, big old sculpin right there. I knew them birds were working something in here. I didn't know what. Uh, see if I can twist that jig out of its mouth. I don't want no part of you. You don't want no part of me. Big old sculpin. We let him go. Some kind of little old double ugly or something. Oh boy, ain't that a, ain't that a dandy. We'll let him go. Well, the wind's starting to pick up. I've moved a couple times. I'm about in as close as I'd want to go to expect to catch anything decent. And uh, we're starting to get a little white caps and stuff, and she's starting to pick up, so I'm gonna head in.
looks like somebody took an old steel hauled sailboat and made a commercial fishing vessel of it, I guess. Fourth of July. Francisco. Kind of unique. New kind of around here. I don't know where it came from. Fourth of. your fish sticks come from. You can see the bow of the Star of Kodiak. It made it into a cannery after the big tidal wave tsunami. Hundred horsepower. Excuse me. Nine hundred horsepower. Nice. Well, oh, got to get off here. There's the ramp.
Yummy. Well, we're going to clean this little halley butts. And then I'm going to cook it up. Cook it up. These are the size that are really good to eat. They're not all stringy and dry. Real good. Real good meat, nice big fillets, on, even on a small fish. Look at that beautiful fillet. Yeah. You'll get four of them off of one fish. You'll get four fillets. Well, hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Do you like that beer batter howdy? See that beer batter howdy? Yummy. Yummy. Do you like them? Homemade hush puppies, ladies and gentlemen. Right over there. Yummy. Goes good. That deep fried halibuts. <gasps> Yummy. Of course, we gotta have some real potatoes cut up to look like a french fry. You gotta have that. Can't have fish and chips without the chips. We've got to have our chips, mate. To go with them hush puppies. As soon as them cook down a little bit and turn into french fries, I'll be ready to snack. Yummy fish and chippers, halibut, hush puppies, and French fried potato with a little homemade tata -ta, ta -ta sauce. Yummy. Well, when I was coming back in from that little boat ride and that little fishing trip. Um, I got about three quarters of the way home from the launch ramp there, and I started hearing a clunk, 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 
So I pulled over and I got out and I looked. Oh my. I grabbed hold of the driver's side tire on the trailer. Cluck clunk, cluck clunk. So the wheel bearings going are pretty much gone in that uh, trailer tire. And uh, I still want to get out and get some firewood, maybe do a little more fishing. So, I said to myself, I don't feel like doing a trailer bearing. You understand? So, I said, I got another boat, and it's got. Do you like them Mercury's boys and girls? I do. And I thought, well, I got my welded skiff, and the trailer ain't much better on it, but the bearings are good, I think. So, I backed it in and hooked up the gas to my classic 54-cylinder inline, and she started right up. It's a 1983, and I love this motor. And uh, so I brought it over and hooked up the ears and it started right up. And so I'm hoping to get it out for a ride, maybe get some logs and some beech wood, firewood and such. And uh, that's what I use this skiff for mostly because it's a thick welded aluminum. I don't know how thick it is, but the skiff's like 50 years old, 45, 50 years old when it was built. And it's tough. It's a tough one. So, and that 50 horsepower inline four pushes it very well. So, I just rolled it over here and got it started up, started right up, and uh, so ran it a little bit. I show you, I show you. So, so we got this one here all washed up, and I'll let it dry, and then I'm gonna do a little sanding on it and get some paint that matches it a little bit closer than this uh, blue anti-filing bottom boat bottom paint and put that on there and it'll be ready to go next week for that fella coming up from Idaho don't you know so this one's getting a little long I hope you enjoyed the boat ride and uh, I got another one in there that we'll start on next the next victim and we'll see what's wrong with it so that's going to be a wrap on this one. As always, that's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.